You my pal. Are you my pal or did you come over here to steal the show? I came over here to kill two of us. <laughs> I figured yeah, you Yeah, that's okay. yucky. <laughs> Look at the turkeys over there. It's that time, isn't it, Jonah? I only have 13 Icelandic chickens. I want 20. Now, if you don't know, the Icelandic chickens are known for more scrappiness, hardiness. We're going to use them to follow behind the cows throughout the summer to help us stir the fly patties. Three days behind the cows, there's fly larvae in there. The chickens go spread that manure. Not only do they spread that manure, spread that nutrients, they eat the fly larvae, breaking the pest cycle. Flap those wings, Waddle. What a beautiful sight right there. Stud Muffin's checking it out. I want 20 of these guys. I only got 13. We've got our measurer, notebook, the weight. We've got a scale. Turn it off so I can start clamping down everything. Okay, that's great, Jonah, especially since we're gonna put our breeders in here. This is where our breeder's gonna be. So we definitely don't want them getting out and getting injured. These are gonna be the best of the posse, okay? Okay. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to pick the very best of the flock, separate them out, and breed just those. I mean, they've all been bred, but then I wanna start collecting eggs from the ones that are more ideal, the chickens that are more ideal. With these tent stakes, you're suspecting the chicken is getting out underneath? Yeah. Okay, we've gotta get the cage for, because I'm gonna pull a chicken out, weigh it, and then where are we gonna put it? Because we have to do everybody before we know who's the best. Mm -hmm. So let's do a cage. You got that all by yourself? No, we're gonna have to cover that floor off, or uh, cover it, or get it out. Let's stick it out. Okay, can it come out? Oh. It's a slide. Sure. Okay. All right, we got our cage in there. We decided on this cage because it's small, we can see the chickens. It's just a holding pen for them temporarily. You got the fence secured? Okay. I'm gonna move this coop back. Think that's where she's getting out? Oh, easy. Okay. Look, like that. I'm looking for chickens that are gonna give us a lot of eggs, that have a decent amount of meat, not necessarily because we're wanting meat. I'm aiming more for egg production than meat in these guys. I raised the Cornish Cross for meat, but we will use them for meat. But if they have more weight on them, it, to me it's saying, I'm doing better in this system. I'm doing better in this situation. I'm healthy, I'm doing great, pick me. So, what we're gonna look for is the width of a head. The wider the head, the bigger the eggs. Whoa, it's, they're all gonna, I don't know yet, I have to compare it to others. Sort of estimate though where that is. All right, I'll hold her by her. There we go, 14. Other things I'm looking for are the distance between the back pelvic bones. The other measurement is the pelvic bones. You come down in between these two, it, it's kind of split here, so it's gonna be more flexible, and a live bird, it's not gonna be so flexible. But you feel right there and see how many fingers you can get in there. How far is that? That's gonna determine egg size, egg production. Wow, she's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna say two and a half. Also, the kill bone, in between the kill bone and the two pelvic bones, comes to a sharp point right there between the legs. I'm measuring between there and these two uh, pelvic bones. So, this is a Cornish cross. I'm getting like four, four, Five. It has been processed too. I could probably get five fingers. Well, then we have to wash your hands real good. It'd be better if you don't touch them. Okay, so that's the kill to the pelvic bones. The wider this is, the bigger eggs, the more they're gonna produce, more likely going to produce. How much is that? Use about three or four fingers. Wow, she's got a pretty hefty kill to bone, pelvic bone measurement. She's got a full four fingers. The weight. The weight is the easiest one to measure. I'm not, okay, you, and you can't fill out the bucket? Looks like you did, okay. This is zero. Okay, I'm gonna say three pounds. And I'm gonna look at the vent and see how moist it is. If their vent is moist, it means they aren't laying. They're laying eggs at this time. If it's dry, 
Mm. Let's just let's get the worst part over with. See that? That's very moist. That means she's been laying eggs. Uh, let's say not moist, moist, very moist. So she's moist. How you guys doing? We're almost done. We just nailed a beauty. Number 22, made me realize why we're doing this. So much better, like the keel bone. Four, I could put more than four fingers in there. Nobody's even touched that. Like there's an outstanding bird here. Three and a half between the pel pelvic bones back there. And a heavy girl too. Not the heaviest, but the second heaviest. Let's see how she fares. Keel bone, I can already tell man. I'm getting, getting the hang of this. That's not even three fingers. And eh, we'll give her three fingers. When they all start off, they're all kind of the same. And then you hit a winner like that, then you get excited and you're like, okay, that's why I'm doing this. Pelvic bones. Let's say three. How many more we got, Jonah? How many more? One more. One more after that, Jonah. This is our last one. You got the head measurement, buddy? A penny one, Papa. Okay, three millimeters. Okay. Here you go, Gideon. You liking those? Uh-huh. You liking those, Josiah? Okay, you guys are about to be able to help us, okay? Just one second. Shall we do the last one together? Yeah. This is fun. I'm glad we did this. Do this once a year, the breeders. It's a three and a half pelvic to kill. You're looking at the vent, ain't you? That's barely two. And then let's check the vent moist. Whoa! I should measure feistiness too. I actually want them to be feisty. They're not pets. These are the scrappy ones. They're going to be out in the field. They need to be tough. That's moist. They're all, the good news is all but one appears to be in lay by the moistness of their... There's only one who had a dry vent. Alright, let's weigh her. What do you guys want to guess? Oh, man, she's a heavy one. I'm gonna Three pounds, seven three ounces. Two. Let's see who's the chicken ninja. Three two versus three seven. She's feisty. Whoa. Yeah, she's a I might give her one for feisty. Wow. Oh, she's not very big though. Why? Two pounds fourteen ounces. You're one of our smaller ones, but you are feisty. Well, we just did it. We just went through our flock to pick out the best. So, the head. We're going to throw out the head dimension. You measuring her yourself now? Yeah. That head one's the hardest one to get. I pretty much give up on the head one because, I don't know. We're talking about centimeters here. Three. Huh? Three. You got it? Three? Three? Okay. I just feel like, I don't know. We did it just to get some practice, but I feel like... I didn't feel like we we could have been off centimeters and that's all the difference we got anyway. So it's kind of like, I uh, feel like we'd be guessing there. The kill bone to the pelvic bone though. I feel pretty confident about. There's one that stands out mega. 22. She's got, I put four and a half fingers. She trumped everybody. The next runner up is a three and a half. She, she trumped everybody in the pelvic too, between the two pelvic bones. So she's gonna be laying big eggs. And then, um, weight too. She's the second heaviest, so 22 is a keeper. That's my observation. She's our number one. And she had a very moist vent. Everybody had moist vents, save one. Two had very moist, so she's like number two there. 22 is like all around best hen save maybe number five five kill bone pretty high so then let's try to make another observation here and by the way I'm looking for more egg production than meat so I'm more concerned about the kill and the pelvic and the vent we can cross out the vent everybody's good okay very worst uh, so here here's a dry vent so let's go ahead and mark them off get them out of our way at first I was thinking 
what's the use of this? They're all about the same, but by the end of it, especially like a few before the end, we found that prized hen. I was like, yes, I'm doing this for a reason. This is great. Here they are, we want number five, hold on. 18, four, 22, 10, and 19, is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're gonna do, guys, pull one out. If, if they're on this list, if they're 5, 18, 4, 22, or 10, or 19, they stay in here, so just let them out into the run, okay? Let's ask you. That's the escapee, Josiah. Oh, we, we're gonna keep the ones in here. So, so take, take the gra grab the escapee and put them in this. Thank you, Josiah, good catch. Okay, 18, you can let her out in the run. This one? No, not that one. Who else did we get? Uh, who else you get that we already let go? That one? That one. What number was that? Uh, okay. I, I'm worried you might have six. Alright. Who you got there? I'm trying to do that one. I wanted to keep the breeders in here. It's they're familiar with it. I don't want to stress them out too much. I want them to keep laying. Guys, you're gonna save these eggs now. Separate. We're not gonna eat them, we're gonna save them for hatching. Take, take chickens out of here and we're gonna put them in here. Yes, sir. One at a time. This one ate it. If it's not number four, it's in here. Seven. <laughs> we got them safely over here. Didn't squash anybody's. We got them safely over here. Didn't squash anybody's fingers. It's off because we don't even have it on yet. Let's open up the coop for them. Let them out, Josiah. Not a bad holding area for our non-breeders. We have the chicken tractor. These eggs still gonna be just fine. Gonna eat them. We're just not gonna hatch them. Now, we are one step closer for my grandchildren to have the ideal chicken posse for this land. Well, you guys, while I milk, Will you guys help me get the cows down? Mm -hmm. And then you'll come over here and get the water and get them some feed. You can do it. Can you show you some? Yeah. Whoa. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, step on up. Now we're gonna go take care of the chicken. That's how we start our milking session. Well, I did get the calf out. Guys, want to see Bessie. Give you a little update on Bessie. She's starting to eat alfalfa. So it helps lure her out of the stall. Helps her get used to us better while she's eating it. I want you to also notice something else special. Look how her, she's coming in dark around her eyes. Where, where do you think she got that? Bingo. Did she get that from you? Yeah. She's mad at me. Oh, you got poop on your lens there, guys. Shoot. Oh, how nasty. That's why I definitely do the lens protectors here. I think she's kicking because, well, let's give her a scoop of this. This will calm you. She's getting mad at me because I'm holding out on her. I want to hold out on her till the end of the milking when she starts getting more restless. You know how she's working with me. There you go, sweetie. Come on. Hold that like that. There we go. Who's there? Jonah. What's up? How'd it go? Good. You're done? Yeah. Wait, you're done. Mm -hmm. You put an energizer on there. You got him water. Yeah. You gave him some food. Yeah. Those boys are keepers. I haven't even started milking. I haven't even started squeezing yet. See, it's not the milking. It's not this actual part. It's the management. It's the getting them down here. It's the setting them up. It's the putting them back out. It's the rotation, rotating them. The milking part, once you actually get a squeeze, it goes pretty fast. It's the moving the manure. All right, I got some assignments for you. Holy smack, really? Oh. 
the pee in the stanchion. Y'all got wet on that too. It's spiced up. Got pee and poop on the lens this morning. Good look at her, just following you wherever you go. All right. <laughs> Come over here, Jonah. These are the eggs? Yeah. Okay. Five? Five uh, breeder eggs. Uh, I wonder if they got, why'd they get wet? Because they were sitting in the rain. Oh. Because they, they had didn't, to. Did they not lay them in they the? They did. Did they lay them? Oh. I, they had to sit for a little bit while I did some things. Like, as I was walking, they rained I wonder if them. this washed the goop off, Rebecca. I don't know. They're soaking wet. Oh, boy. Okay, comes with a natural goop. Some people, well, it comes with a natural goop, but because these were got wet, I guess you collected these first and then left them, I and then went and did them. everything else. And I had to end up putting up the, okay. um, the silage chart, and then oh, okay. the, the thing. Okay. It had gotten down. No worries. But what we're gonna do is not be able to save these, because I'm afraid we need that film on there because that's what preserves them through the hatch, okay? Okay. So, but we got five eggs from them. There's only six out there. That's pretty good given all that ruckus we caused this morning. So, it won't take no time at this rate, five. Jonah, it's only gonna take four days. I know. To get 20 eggs. I know. Okay, good job, good work. Oh, did the ones in the chicken tractor go up? Mm-hmm. They went up? They went in the chicken tractor. Besides, one egg was laid on the ground. Well, I mean, did the chickens go yeah. in the chicken tractor? That's amazing. Okay, good. I'm not the film. <laughs>